Let's just see if it's not too lot. I'll just. What's the normal shot? 200? Yes, the target on your shot, yeah, it's about two inches, two inches low. low. Yeah. You would have killed something, so take another shot. Perfect. Maybe just shoot, just shoot one at the target so we can just see where you're shooting also. See, in the bullseye. In the bullseye. Just It's perfect. Y'all ever build any uh... up? <laughs> Got a special request for uh... I'm not in Daimon Rocks. A little bit to the right. Almost dead on. You go from top left, Calvin? Maybe the top right. Top left. Alright, which side of the road is that on? Just shoot at that sign. If you hit shoot. the sign, we're proud of you. We'll put him a beer bottle. <laughs> I bet he hit that thing. But he gotta be empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there, this is literally a three seater here. You know how you put it? I mean, it is what it is. Uh, we're quickly going out to do the Rhino tour. Uh, to take everybody on a tour of the, the Rhino project and uh, show them more of what we're doing here at Rockwood. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. No, it happens. Uh, they fight all the time. So, as your nails grow out, from the bottom, same happens to their own. The grows is continuing. So, so you can trim it, it grows out, and it, in five years' time, you won't even know. It. So, so it, 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 yeah, they fight and you know, they, they work it on trees and rocks and stuff, and um, they keep the point sharp. So, it's, a, it's a, their weapon, so they sharpen their weapons all the time. Close the door, close the door. This is so mean. <laughs> I don't even feel good about it. <laughs> Dude, you're coming! Come on! I'm serious! Don't scare it, Mike! Mike! Well, we're here at the Rockwood uh, Conservation and uh, we brought the clients here to the um, breeding pen of the rhinos and we're going to take them in and because the owner of Rockwood is going to show them uh, what they, what he's busy doing here, and yeah, we lost part of the uh, of the um, rock conservation of giving back to the rhinos, and yeah, the hunting what takes place it goes back into the project and back into the farm uh, that goes back into the rhinos, all the security, all the poaching, and the ra and, and the rangers. So because we'll explain that further, we're going to walk further into the boma here. Uh, so there's rhino all around. So don't be scared. Uh, it's safe. Uh, don't run if I don't say run, but if I say run, run. give everything, don't <laughs> hold back. <laughs> Regular tonic, sugar free or pink tonic? Surprise me. Okay. Regular. So is he. Thank you all for being here. It's 
very nice having you guys here. Yeah? I don't do many, many animals. My EC. Bye, bye. bye. <laughs> just, just to adventure, not my EC. Hope you guys have a good trip. We're making a potato chop, and which is lamb. Yeah, we'll be serving it with sausage for tonight, and a bit of sides, which is porridge, and there's also roasted veggies. So, hope we continue inside again. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Okay, tonight, today we'll be having a barbecue. From the start, we'll be having a curry lamb chop. We've got our sausage, which is venison. Here it's a porridge pie, a roasted veggies, a bright, a bright sandwich. Yes, we're gonna call it that way for now. <laughs> and here we've got the green salad. Ooh. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Why has been telling me about the coffee for a whole year? It's a way of record with that. They blew it out. Well, uh, we just want to say welcome to all of you this morning at the Vula Safaris. Um, we're looking forward to a great trip. You guys arrived yesterday at one o'clock at the lodge and uh, had a couple of brandy and cokes just to settle the nerves. And uh, yeah, we settled in and we went to the rhinos into Vikas Didrix, the owner of Rockwood, the lodge where we're at, um, gave the introduction about Rockwood and what he's doing here with the rhinos. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah, we just want to say welcome, enjoy it, be yourself and uh, let's see what we see today. Wyatt is going to try with the bow and uh, Macy, that's Mason and Calvin, he's looking at me like I'm going somewhere. <laughs> okay, yeah. So Wyatt has been with us last year, we had an awesome trip and he brought some friends along and uh, yeah, let's see what we see today. beast but we'll get bigger okay so we just saw a nice game spot bull mm -hmm. we're gonna try and stalk it and see what happens wow. hopefully we can manage to get it
Gorilla, gorilla, gorilla. Congratulations, man. Yeah. Very, very nice. Fighting yeah, fighting. Man, you did a excellent shot. The blood pumping, man. Proud of you. Well, Macy, what a perfect morning. Um, South Africa had a lot of rain this year, so the bush is very thick. Uh, we struggled to see animals. Um, didn't give us an opportunity to stalk it because of all the thickness in the bush. Um, and a few hours later, wildebeest present itself. Do you want to tell us what happened there? Well, we spotted him bedded down under the tree, stalked him for a little ways. He got up, ran to the left. We got a good shot at about 100 yards, stoned him right in the heart. Ran about 100 yards, perfect hard shot. Very proud of you, man. Awesome. Thank you for being a good shot. Oh. We knew this would be here, man. Oh. So now I need some red blood. <laughs> oh, yes. What are you doing? I'm giving him the perfect South African tradition we have. Shooting the first African animal. Very proud of this, man. One other thing. Awesome. Awesome, we're not done, man. So what you do is you flip the whole beast. Nice African balls. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely eating balls. Enjoy it. Just throw it down. Absolutely not. Just throw it down. <laughs> it's a tradition, man. Do it. Everybody's gonna do it. I can't do it. Okay, just go for it. Just just put it in. You don't have to eat it. Just for the video. Just quickly. You, dude, it's just like eating a tuna heart. You yeah, I can't. Piece. I can't. Balls in the mouth. We're <laughs> with you, man. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> I thought y'all wasn't going to do it. Yeah, I was definitely. What, what if I actually did that? <laughs> like the blood thing. Well, we heading out for the this afternoon. We had an exciting morning. We got a white blaze buck, blue wildebeest, and a golden wildebeest down. So yeah, we're heading, heading out this afternoon. We've got about four clients on one group on the on the vehicle. We're gonna see what we see out there, and a lot of animals to get down on the on the ground. They're expecting a lot of rain on Saturday and Sunday, so yeah, we have to get a move on. We just saw a, a black wilderness bull about 600 yards from here, maybe 700. The wind's in our favor. We're going to try to sneak behind this bush and see if we can get close. We tried them this morning, but the bloody guinea fowl chased them up.
just wait. Okay, there we go. Okay, reload, you've hit him. When he stands again, just make sure you're on the black one, not the golden one. There we go. Oh, sniper! <laughs> Let's have a look at this golden. Let's have a look. There's a big golden one also. Okay. Is it too low? No, it's perfect. Okay, so are you comfortable? Perfect shot, reload. Very good shot. Can you see him, Wade? Yeah, he's falling. He just fell. Huh? He fell. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! I'm so nervous. Two wildebeers, 200 yards from each other. Well done, well done. You couldn't ask for better than that, huh? <laughs> I can't get the gun still, this is not going to work. <laughs> and it, I heard you say earlier. Did it when you put on Elliot's yeah, shoulder? Yeah, so I heard you say Elliot. Get it steady. <laughs> that was yeah, awesome. Yep. Unbelievable, my friend. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. See, when they're young, it's all soft here. The boss is here. It's shiny. It's like a buffalo. And as they grow older, they start, the whole thing starts cracking. This bull would probably go another, yeah, maximum. Dang. See how much different they look? He's 350 cool. yards. He's pretty <laughs> sick looking. <laughs> well done, bud. Perfect lung shot. Holy cow. <laughs> oh my god. Dang. Perfect yeah, that's beautiful. Shot. Yeah, I shot him from the other side. Maybe you'll feel the bullet, yeah. yeah look how long his face is. I know. Look at his golden eyes in here. Wow. Look at that white. Well done, Mia. Nice. Very good shooting. You've shown us how to, to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you can be proud, right? Yeah. Well, what an afternoon. Um, as we came out of the out of the lodge, went and looking for some red hearted beers, black willow beers, game spark. And uh, yeah, we stopped and we saw black willow beers seven eight hundred yards and uh, was laying down in the grass we can just see the head sticking out and uh, yeah we said to what let's give it a try made it a good stalk probably half an hour 40 minutes to get closer we didn't have much brush to work with and got wide on the sticks and uh, the wallabies were still laying down you can just see his horn sticking out and uh, i said to white are you on him yes so it was looking at white and uh, as soon as he turned about 360 370 yards perfect shot the uh, first shot was perfect. Willoughby's was tumbling, rumbling, and making turns, and I just still I just put a second shot into it. And excellent, both shots hit. Wyatt, well done. And then you won't believe this. There was a golden Willoughby about 200 yards from this black Willoughby, and uh, it was a big old bull. I said to Wyatt, look at that. And, my, and Mia said, I'll shoot it. 380 yards. Mia, well done. Tell us about your experience. Uh, it was it was insane. Uh, I couldn't get still for a minute there, and I think I was freaking myself out way worse than what I should have been. And <laughs> you luckily, were a bit, you Elliot, were a bit shaky on the I was, I was. <laughs> normally, I'm not, but it, it's he's a big boy, and Elliot helped me out. He helped keep my arms steady, and it just yeah. one shot, and he was down. It was awesome. I couldn't have asked for a better hunt. Well done. Good shooting. Thank you. <laughs> in Africa we're always right. It looks like you guys are on the left side. I was holding I was holding myself up with my other hand. But that's perfect, it looked different. <laughs> Wyatt said I'm not allowed to wait, hand wait, shake. Wait, hold on, wait. Wait, hold on, I'm still laughing. You'll cut just before the handshake. <laughs> yeah, just cut before <laughs> the handshake. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I was holding myself up. <laughs> All the videos have to go that side now. <laughs> I was holding my hand up with this arm, so I just thought to use that. <laughs> Good morning, uh, my name is Brian. Uh, I'm gonna pH Mr. Butch today, Uncle Butch. Uh, I'm here with the Vula Safaris. Uh, we're hunting on a place called Rockwood. Uh, Mr. Butch, what are we shooting today? Oh, we're gonna be looking for uh, a gimbuck, uh, uh, a, an impala, and possibly a kudu. Yep. I'm gonna let him shoot. It's a his party. We just saw a big uh, camp spot up here, so we're gonna take a short stock and see uh, maybe we can take him. Yeah, we came up here looking for a big camp spot. We saw it from down uh, on the road uh, when we came up here. Uh, the master smelled us uh, and we ran off. So, can we try and look for another one? Uh, we saw another two beautiful games box just behind the ridge over here. Uh, so, we're going to take a nice long walk. See what we can get. Maybe we'll get lucky with this one. Yep, uh, long stalk, uh, but the games buck got a better of us again. So we're heading back to the vehicle. We just spotted a nice big kudu bull again. Uh, he's standing next to a tree, uh, around 400 meters away from us. So we'll try and get a nice talk on him. Uh, there's a nice valley here, so we'll get into the valley and maybe we can take him. Let's try to get him. So he's busy down there, he's feeding at the feet, he's feeding at the moment, so he can just walk slowly and see what he does. Because there's two females with her and he's smelling like he wants to do something. So we followed his tracks over the, over the hill, but we couldn't catch up with him. So we let him be for the afternoon and try again this afternoon to see what he, where he pops up. We would have to be stuck in a, in a, 
a rhino dump area. No, the unbreak. Yay! Burgers for lunch with crispy onion rings with our burger sauce. There's a games box standing over there. A games box and there's a kudu also on the bottom. That's all you need. It. I'm just gonna take a small stock and see what how they look. Reload, 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 reload. Shoot me again. No, 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 wait. He's down. He's down. Yep, he's down. Huh? He's down, he's down, he's down. Good shot. There we go, sir. Yes. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh. Great ghost. Oh, nice. that's this is how we, this is how we get them here in the Northern Cape. Beautiful. Beautiful animal. Oh man, that is beautiful. Yes, uh, we finally got the great ghost this afternoon. Uh, we had a long stalk this morning uh, on another bull, but he evaded us. Uh, so this afternoon, me and Uncle Butch uh, came out again. Uh, we had like a five minute stalk on this one. Uh, 190 meter shot from across the ridge over there. Uh, make the perfect shot on the shoulder. Nice looking bull, uh, nice horns. Uh, good congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, how was your experience hunting kudu today? Yeah, what are was uh, <clears throat> did a lot of walking. We did we did a lot of walking, and uh, but as you can see, it was well worth it. You know, I I enjoyed it. We shot them from across the gully over there. Uh, uh, it was beautiful. I mean, thanks. Thank you very much. I enjoyed the day. It's a hell of an experience. What's this? What could do? Very good. Oh, a kudu! Oh. Well done. Thank you. How, how was it? It was. It was nice. We shot him across the. Uh, uh, I gotta get the gully. They were all good. Un, un, thank you. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Can we say grace before you start digging? Yes. Yes. Lord, thank you for this lovely day you've blessed us. Lord, thank you for being with us. Thank you for protecting us. Just bless this food to our bodies and the hand prepared us and give us a good night's rest. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Enjoy. Amen. Thank you, I just want to say, uh, before you dig into your milk talk, my, this one. 
Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I just want to say um, cheers to a wonderful day. Wyatt, good shooting. I told you where to shoot and you shot there. Uncle Butch, you are showing these young guys how to shoot. <laughs> it's like yeah, they want to yeah. be like you. One day. <laughs> Calvin, good luck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> We're on day three and we're heading out for the first time for today, that's correct. It is half past two. Just got wired out of bed and Mia. When springy hunting, evidence is on his leg. Fell into an African bush. He said he wanted an African experience. We caught two springers and we were successful. We're going out to see what we see. Red hartebeest on the list and whatever we see. This is brown uh, chicken meat for the jambalaya. This is sausage, pre-brown. And this is pork with onion, celery, bell pepper, and tomato. Cook it down. Eventually, this is the chicken broth we made from the deboned chicken. And we'll put that all together in one pot when it's done. She can tell you what that is. Chocolate cake. But I was short and sweet. Huh? For somebody's birthday. Alright, so tonight is a very special Saturday night. Um, we had two very special people cook for us. They spoiled us. Um, first with some uh, backstrap of Impala, 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 which was very good and I am and very quite, fresh. I'm very sure it's going to be on the menu from here on forward. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah, so, 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 so definitely. Thank you very much for that. And then we've got a very nice jambalaya here. Yeah. And you've been cooking since 2 o'clock this afternoon. Right. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. We're going to appreciate it. Biggest piece of them all. There you go. Be gentle, bro. We need we need to put something under it so it doesn't. We were um, taking a drive on the way to the mountain, and we were right at the bottom in the flats. And Elliot spotted a red hartebeest and a couple of kudu, so a couple of kudu cows. So yeah, we're going to see if we can approach those hartebeest and see if we can get closer. We're right on top. Going to move our way down. Wind is in our favour. That's good. Approaching the red hartebeest, we're about four or five hundred yards from the hartebeest, and a big group of eland, uh, probably 40, 50 of them, were 20, 30 yards from us, and they just got spooked and they ran off. And all the whole noise and running away 
the heart of the and they just heart of the also taking off. So we're just gonna go slowly down here on the edge and just see, maybe we see something else. We've been walking a couple of miles and uh, Elliot just tapped me on my shoulder and uh, he saw a golden games pack. So uh, yeah, he, he took off when he saw us. So uh, Elliot's gonna see if he can find his bull and we'll follow him. Maybe we can get up close to him. Big bull, big bull, big bull. Oh, he's up, he's up, he's up. Where? He's running, to the right, to the right. I'm about five inches above him. Yes, sir. <laughs> you could have been a sniper. <laughs> okay, just, just keep your eye on him. Where's he at? He's behind the bush there. I think he's, he's down now. Wow. I don't think I could have made this show. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the call. Dang. Nice. Beautiful. You did shoot the right one. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> oh, my second shot was good. Yeah. Well, uh, today was pretty much overcast, and uh, initially we were looking for a red hartebeest or a golden gims buck, but uh, we got out a little unlucky with those two and stumbled on a copper spring buck, so we're pretty excited, and I actually made a pretty good shot on him, and I'm surprised considering how far away he was, but super pumped and super excited. We were just sitting here uh, and scouting down the valley here and uh, Elliot spotted some zebra and uh, they're just across this valley here so we're going to sneak around. The wind is in our favour, there's a couple of eland bulls and a couple of kudu there so we'll just see if we can get closer to the zebras. Reload, reload. Just check him if he stands up. Good shooting, just check him. Well, what an afternoon so far we had. Uh, we were sitting and just scouting on top of the hill and Elliot spotted a zebra. Put a nice stalk in and uh, got up close to them, 150 yards. Something spooked them and just ran off. And as we came over the hill, yeah, when we saw them again, 120 yards, White was on the sticks quickly and gave it one shot, dropped in his tracks. White, good shooting, great stalk, 
Good experience. Thank you. Well done, man. Oh, good morning. How are you? Good and you? <laughs> good morning. Fantastic weather. No. It's another <laughs> morning in Africa. Rainy morning. Uh, we are going to look for some red water beast. Maybe zebra, kudu. Let's see what we can get. Pressure's on. Last yes, couple of days. on you, really, yes. Really got to get that harder beast. No one's had it. Yeah. Enjoy it. We just spotted some zebra and eland. Try to make a stalk on them and shoot them. You ready? Okay. Okay, are we? Definitely ready. Congratulations, man. What a time. Congratulations. I did not think we were going to get a shot after those will be sold. That's why I said take. They gave it a chance to get, eh? Hey, I was this close to squeezing off when that wildebeest came to the back of it. No, no. And I said, oh, yeah. Well, Calvin, we woke up this morning, had a fresh cup of coffee. We went out, um, drive a while, saw some zebras in the distance. We got out, we did an amazing stalk. Um, zebra didn't even know we were here. There was some blue wildebeest in front, they spooked it a little bit and luckily we were fast enough on the sticks and you made an excellent shot man, very proud of you. Thank you, I thought for sure we were busted after the wildebeest but we had that one lucky sh shot, he stepped in the opening, gave us a perfect clear shot and the only shot we were going to get. That was some amazing shooting man, man. an amazing what a hunt. Yeah, we've got a big surprise for Mia. Um, some of her friends and family is about to arrive. Is the barman, he's oh, got a special yeah. welcome yeah. Yeah. for you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, come on. Oh, no. I hope that's not them. <laughs> Ooh, is that a date? No. Yes. yes. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. No, no, it's not them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. How are you doing? I'm good. Keisha, you and Hansa. I taste the rhino already, so. <laughs> Again? After all that trap shaking. Uh huh. I'm literally shaking, I'm so excited. Oh, He's been waiting for you. Okay, so we just did a long flight to surprise Wyatt and Mia. We're so excited, we have a huge surprise for her later this evening, and we're gonna hide out here until the big surprise.
Well, it's another new day, new morning in Africa. We had a very exciting uh, day yesterday. Wyatt uh, popped the question. Well, uh, Mia didn't know about anything. Oh, she's showing it again. <laughs> Wyatt, congrats, my, my friend. It went well. Thank you. And uh, Mia, hope you were surprised. She didn't know about anything. And uh, friends and family flew in. Yes. Welcome to your first day in Africa. Hope yes. you guys can have a good time with us. Thank you. Just spotted some zebra and my auntie here is gonna to try to take one down so we're gonna stone one. <laughs> Good luck mama. <laughs> the zebra about 350 yards and uh, just couldn't get a shot in there. He was looking at us the whole time and he just didn't want to keep a, give us a broadside shot so they just kept on walking on so we just came over that deal into yeah, this right. valley. Just gonna go over here and see if, they have, if they're not yet at the bottom. These Louisiana people are very fit, they don't even huff or puff. <laughs> <laughs> we just spotted the buffalo bull all on its own. There he goes. Um, so yeah, Wyatt's gonna approach it with the bow. See if we can get between 20 and 30 yards to it. And a little bit open here, so we're just gonna go down with the wind and then work our way closer to him where it's more thick. To see that, you need to move your chair. Join us. Yes. Yes. Yeah. One, 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 one. Gas. That's who can be. Hey! Come on! Roasted potatoes and glazed 
beetroot. The sauces we've got a cherry and uh, margin sauce, and we've got glazed uh, mixed fruits. Hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> it's hard over here. Hard work. Oh yeah. Are you gonna split? Okay, yeah, yeah. You want some asparagus? We'll get together when we get home. Let me see the phone. Hey, Dad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let me Look see. At it. Let me see my husband. You want something? We're freezing. But it's about negative 20 degrees, <laughs> and we're gonna try and kill a buffalo with our bare hands. Can you just look at it. Just look at it. There's an apple, African pear. Croissants, jerky. Wow. <laughs> About to go walk around this corner and see if we can find another buffalo. The ones we just spotted took off running. But Chris says there might be some more up here on top of this hill. That's why they call them the Great Coast. <laughs> Thank you. 
tonight we've got a, a bit more of an African theme. Um, so the, the food you'll see here is, is typically of, of what the, 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 um, the African people uh, would, would, would eat. More stews with like the Sam, um, the spinach which they call marojo, etc. All right. So a chili bite here will say grace for us and then before you start dishing up, he will dish up for himself and show you how to eat. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, Before we start on, yeah. let's pray, please. Come on, Rua. Okay. Um, Lord, thank you for the good evening. Thank you for providing us with delicious food. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Thank you. Looks like you got a lot, not just some. Yeah. <laughs> Secondly, we call this spinach. But in our culture, we call it Morocco. Morocco? Yeah. Morocco. I'm a, I'm a Botswana, and they are southern Sotos. If they got this Morocco, they, do, they don't even worry about me. And thirdly, the chakalaka. Chakalaka. Yes, chakalaka. What is chakalaka? Um, chakalaka is part of um, sauce. Um, when you take same, you dump it like in chakalaka, then you, I was you now. <laughs> um, you start with Sam, like I said, in the first place. You take Sam, then you dip a butt in the chakalaka. It's all coming together now. <laughs> I noticed there's no forks. Okay. And then, and I noticed you said, wash your hands. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yes. mm. so, after that, you can go a bit to the meat. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> This is for my fiance. Now that we're engaged, Come on, I have to drop this first. I now belong to more. No, that's good. We just want to say thank you for choosing Abula Safaris. Thank you for joining our family. Thank you to the Rockwood. All the staff, everyone who's involved, there's a lot of people behind the scenes involved. Oops, thanks for taking that hot one. It wasn't meant for you. <laughs> I just want to say, Wyatt, Mia, thank you for coming back. Um, congratulations on the big day. It worked out well. Mason, you're so short, I can't see you. You need to stand if you want to talk. But yeah, I just want to say, well done. It was a great safari, great end to the trip. And Darcy, it was well amazing. done. It was amazing. Thank you to everyone, thank you to Vickers, thank you to Vet yeah. for organizing everything with the behind the scenes, making sure everything is happening here. Yes. Brian and your team, cheers, well done, and yeah, thank you for the guys, Chili, Elliot, and all the... Jose. <laughs> cheers to a yeah. fantastic yeah. safari. Cheers. cheers. Sleep time. Our school is now four years old. Um, we've got 80 children, 76 at this stage. They started off with one classroom, and um, as I said, we are 76 now. And um, yeah, we've got four classrooms, 20 children each. And um, we've got a project outside where we grow vegetables. Um, Rockwood supplies us with meat. Um, and yeah, we've got a lot of donations for, for, you know, vegetables, etc. So let me show you the project today. You'll see the table. We also got a, a, a group of women um, doing needlework projects. So they're working on a, in another location.
adaptations, and it just brought a few things that they make also. And I wrote a children's book. Yes. And I brought y'all a copy. Oh, I'm to the children. Sure, that's special. Thank you. And we also have a bunch of candy for them. <laughs> Thank you so much. They enjoy candy always. Thank you. Hello. Can I have two? There we go. Can I have a hug too? You want a hug? You know what that's called? It's called a fist hug. Hey. Hey. You want to try it again? Sonia. Bye. Mommy Sharp. Daddy 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 Sharp.